Yeah, Android a specific programming session. Okay, uh, this is uh, quite uh, a, a distinct feature in Android intent programming. Why I'll, I'll discuss what is intent and why we need intent programming. What are the advantages of intent programming? If you want to use a uh, same QR code application and or MyBits MyBits project. So how to use different types of intents? So what are the different possibilities? Uh, you can choose best one out of those and incorporate. Based on the situation, you can select different different types of intent program methods available. So I'll just tell you two problem statements. Then I'll uh, tell you how to address these two problem statements by using Android intent program. Uh, for example, uh, the, I have an uh, activity. Uh, in this activity, I'll type, uh, there is an edit box and a post button. In edit box, I'll type whatever I want to uh, send. Okay. And uh, it po if I click on post button, this should be submitted. Uh, I want this should be submitted in R code. R code scrap. Okay. Uh, how to do that? This is my my own application. In my own application, I have my activity. Activity is a visible portion of Android uh, component, right? So how to uh, uh, transmit? How to send this data? Whatever I type in my application, how to uh, post that in R code as a scrap message? That we'll see. And how OS does this task also we will see. Our uh, same thing, I can give voice interface. I will give voice recognition, either I will use, uh, use Google voice recognition software in my mobile application. I, what It should recognize your voice to text and that text, same thing I want to uh, update my Facebook. Okay. I want to update my Facebook. Most of the things, this is what we did uh, during last Apogee as well. Uh, we made an omniscient robot. We used to give a, a voice command and that will recognize the voice to text and the text should be updated in Facebook or Twitter. Okay. How to do this thing? Uh, before Android in traditional programming thing, you have to, whatever the thing you have to write, uh, again, uh, implement same th same logic. What, what Facebook is implementing, implement same logic in your application and you have to write some extra code uh, specific to a particular service. So without writing uh, uh, any uh, specific application level code, that application level code, other application level code, how to do this task, how to perform this task. This is one problem statement I, and I will explain how to do this by using some intent. And one more problem statement is this. Here I know, uh, uh, I, I clearly know, here I don't know uh, where exactly my Facebook application exists, what are the Java classes uh, I should use to implement uh, this task. I don't, I don't have any idea about uh, source code implementations of Facebook, Twitter, Buzz, output messaging, even uh, standard messaging. But all these applications exist in my mobile. All these applications exist in my mobile, and by using my own uh, application, I wanted to transmit data. I wanted to uh, post this whatever the data I type or whatever the voice data I give to either as a Facebook status, a tweet, or buzz comment, or output scrap, or I wanted to send same thing to one of my friends as a message, text message. And this is one problem. Uh, how to handle this, I'll explain. And second is, in this uh, problem statement, I know clearly, uh, I want to, uh, here I want to register to a particular service. For example, take MyBits, our own application, MyBits service, a particular student want to register. So in this case, he has to provide uh, all the traditional registration form, name, date of birth, ID, and uh, registration button. So after clicking the registration button, I know that this is the uh, Java uh, activity 
this is the android activity i want to execute i know clearly where exactly it exists and how to do that and to do how to do this and uh, what kind of programming uh, uh, android allows us to do uh, these two tasks so android allows uh, a beautiful feature called intent intent is nothing but uh, an asynchronous message it's a java class it is used to communicate between one component to another component in android program uh, what are the components components activities services broadcast receivers content providers to communicate between any one of the component to other component we use asynchronous messages called intents and intents in these two product statements i i will be using two different intents what are the different intents one is explicit intent other one is implicit intent what is explicit intent explicit intent is like i wanted to send a uh, uh, i want to navigate from one activity to other activity the destination na na uh, the destination activity where, what is the class name of it and what is the package name i know explicitly i know okay so in this case we will be using uh, explicit intents that means explicit intent a user uh, knows where that other component exists he will be providing complete path com dot my bits dot something dot status registration status that class you know he will provide it so that is called as explicit user is explicitly providing that destination component where this in asynchronous message called intent to deliver so this is i can handle this problem by using explicit explicit intent a programming part at the end i'll i'll write the code okay this in general try to understand this is explicit intent in this case i don't have an idea my facebook application has 1000 lines of uh, even 1000 classes and twitter has 1000 classes and all are closed source i don't have an idea what uh, what java classes are, uh, that are available uh, unlike uh, other uh, uh, mobile application development and that allows a beautiful feature uh, every application while uh, deploying it into apk file they can uh describe in a manifest file like uh, this is the activity while describing each component this is the activity it is capable of uh, doing the uh, it can be invoked from other application by using these many filters that is called as intent filter intent filter is nothing but uh if you call particular action this activity can be invoked right particular action uh and category wise also la you will have different categories by default category and launching category is uh, the uh, activity which is going to launch your application category is it and kind of data for example uh, you have an action you for particular action you want to invoke an activity and that activity what exactly you want to perform you want to you uh, i for example in one scenario i want to edit data in that case what is a mime type what is a data type data type is text in some case i wanted to uh, invoke a web browser for particular action i want to be invoke a web browser i wanted to display some web page in that case the mime data is url okay so for implicit intents we don't have an idea about uh, uh, the program uh, the class file